So what we're going to be working on today is putting up, we really like the aesthetic value of all the, uh, the pink insulation. I mean, it looks really good. So we're going to put a bunch of that up, uh, see how it looks. Um, I don't know, we may cover it, uh, you know, maybe take a little bit of the uh, brightness off, add some vapor barrier over top to take some of the sheen off from some of these bright lights. Um, you know, and we'll see how things go from there. I mean, we're really liking how things look with just a vapor barrier look, you know. Sort of like a modern post-apocalyptic. <laughs> Having a little snack. Well, let's do it. Let's do this! It's a fairly miserable day in the oops, neighborhood. Hey, welcome. Do you like vapor barrier? To like windy conditions, which you can't see. Well, if you don't like those things, you might want to turn this off right now. But if you do enjoy a good vapor barriering, you are in for a treat. Take this wiring down a little bit just so we can push this board over so we can get on top of it. So just make sure that there's nothing on top. That's a tape there. Yeah. Well, there's still going to be a foam mattress on it too, so it's going to get a little tighter. Hi, Lucky. Do you want to come on? Come on up the ladder, Lucky. Come on up. Come across right here, yeah, and it has to go high enough, so you can't staple it low. It has to be high yeah, without being in the better. way. Yeah. All right. Um. So clearing more room. Clear that stuff away. Girl, low key. Dream, baby. Oh, man. Can you feel it burn? Feel it burn, man. So wait before you keep on going, I'm gonna put the camera right in. What's the, what's the mattresses here? I'm sure it'll give, how, low, how big do you think it's gonna be? Like, it's a, it's like a full size is like the like this much. Is no, it's only gonna be like four. I think it's four to six inches. So it'll come up to about like here, and then you'll have like this much space. The roof is only like half an inch, so. So it's gonna bring. Uh, it's gonna bring me really close. So. Yeah, I'm, but you can sit. I'll I mean, probably be able to sit comfortably. If you're a taller person, then you can probably just slouch a little bit more with pillows. I there. hardly ever sit up be... full in bed when I'm reading or oh, whatever exactly. I might, but... You put a bunch of pillows there, it'll be a nice, a nice... I feel lots, like I have lots of room up here. Like, I can see the place, I can see everything down below. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, so, I think it looks pretty good, and it's not It's not too, too much. Like, I was, I didn't want to make it too uh, high, uh, so, or... So anyway, I think we have a good balance between above and it's nice and wide if so i, I go don't feel below like i would but yeah you go to sleep over here i don't feel any uh and below it's anxiety this. about falling off yeah and to tell you the truth it's it's not that bad of a drop no it's not too bad and the other thing is this that um when this is built in yeah and it has a little bit of the ladder there going on steps up yeah. from there to there, it'll, it won't be too bad at all. Oh, look at all of the locks. Alright. Speed cut.
that was a uh, very fast 12 foot cut of big barrier. One of my fastest ever. Trying to get primo content here. We should just put this right here. I think the one-legged table would work. We just gotta, we just gotta balance it perfectly. Let me see that. Let me dance on. Hey, I think it's no, I think it's good here. Go get a, go get our finest champagne set. This is professional and talk about that 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 table. Business Go. professional? Totally business professional. Yeah, that's right. You're too high. Too much business professional. Less business professional. Yeah, that's... Yeah, just less... Sleep. Yeah, a little more sleepy. And then there'll be... Yeah, oh, that's totally... Okay, I think we're ready. Yeah. Start talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so this table has a kind of a history. So uh, D minus. Uh, sister nice. had a... A large tree. I don't even know what type of tree this is, so that's how good it I It was like this. a pine or spruce, a pine. Anyway, it, was, it was overhanging her house, so she had to get rid of it. And anyway, she called uh, someone to take it down. down. We were thinking about it, but we we're like, we want to do that. We certainly don't want to have a tree fall on their house and be responsible no, for it. No, only once. Only once? Well, we cut down mom's tree, which I was, was harrowing for me, so I said I'd never do that again. <laughs> anyway, um, she was nice enough that she uh, thought about us and thought about we may like to take one of these biscuits. Uh, so this has been around for a long time. We did sand it down at once upon a time, probably about, i say at least six years ago. And we finally thought, you know what, we're going to keep this. It's a nice piece of wood. Um, it's only I don't want to keep it in the shape that it's in. Fifteen, five, and four. Challenges, challenges, challenges. Who doesn't like some challenges? This whole job is a challenge. I gotta go to the roof. Why is this done? Why didn't we keep stapling? Why is it stapled here? Why isn't it stapled where it needs to be stapled? That's what I told you not to do. I 
told you not to do that. Oh, what in the heck? Insulation forms this. We have the vapor barrier that we're tacking in, but if I try to attach any wood in the future with this stuff in the way, it's going to be some trouble. So I'm just. So we've trimmed it back here now. You can see a lot of the remnants on the floor down here where the foam stuck out a little bit further than uh, we wanted to. We have a couple places we have to connect, uh, connect, correct, um, where this is a little bit of a problem. Uh, but this one is done now. So up here, we're gonna cut it so I can get down underneath here and then um, do this cut along here, uh, along this lower level. to hold it in place. Up here, it's not quite fitting like it should, so I'm gonna make some additional cuts and then uh, attach it through here somehow. Or well, not somehow, just staple it. Yeah, that'll be it. stupid songs caught in your head. Yeah, me too. All the time. I've got swimming, swimming in my swimming pool stuck in my head. Uh, you know why? As I don't. When was the last time you heard swimming, swimming in your swimming pool? My daughter. I don't think I ever heard them sing that. I remember singing it in grade four. But anyway, I guess there's worse songs that get stuck in your head. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna tack this in. I need to tack the whole thing in. This will fit. I can't pull it up too high. I guess this is higher than eight feet. Yeah, okay, this isn't bad. I was thinking, oh my god, this is wrong, but this that part down there at the end of the where the foot of the bed is the is much lower, so there's going to be a little bit of a gap. I could just cover cover over with some pieces. I'm not that worried. It's amazing what tuck tape will do. It's like that in the bottom too. <laughs> Watch the speed of time it kicks out on me. You can see it's, that's the view from the loft. You were sitting up, it would be very similar to that. Um, obviously, there's going to be some differences as far as uh, how this will look in the future. <laughs> we're not going to have a bunch of potatoes and uh, vegetables and things here, uh, or this. These will probably stay. Yeah, probably keep those mittens there.
Do you need scissors now or? Yeah. Here you go. You need to cut a piece of insulation for that too before you go crazy stapling everything. Wait for you to do so we can do precise measurements. So this feels pretty good though. Looks like it's pretty well done. We got um, vapor barrier in, stapled, some rough pieces taped up. The upper part vapor barriered and some gaps filled. And around the window, cut out, not taped. Next for the vapor barrier will be. Finishing off the final two walls. Wow, that's exciting stuff. So, um, A Star and I just finished off getting the vapor barrier done on one of the four walls. Well, five walls if you include the roof. So, that is uh, three down and two more to go. Uh, we have a little bit of insulation work to do on this particular wall. Um, but the wiring's ready, so everything is pretty well in a ready state. I'll not just the song I was it's only like real you know I found an algorithm that gets by YouTube filtering sing poorly <laughs> ah yes I do sing poorly thank you very much make mine a double